<laughs> How healthy are you feeling right now? Because in the spring, you're on the sideline, right? Yes, Watching and everything. Yes, so. sir. I feel pretty healthy. I uh, feel like I'm back to 100 and I'm ready to go. What, um, what do you like about, I mean, the secondary is all new, a lot of new guys just yes, kind of sir. thrown in there. Did, you, did it take a while for you guys to kind of learn each other and how it was going to work? Uh, yes, sir. It took a, a little bit of time. I mean, of course, that's expected, but we've gelled together since the spring, winter, and, of course, over the summer, and now through fall camp. So it's been pretty good, and we're gelling together, communicating, and doing good. You come from a big school, obviously, but what's, what, what have you noticed in this transition uh, from Big 12 to the SEC? Uh, it's not as much passing, that's for sure, but it's still, I uh, feel like it's more intense football and more physical and uh, yeah, just a higher level of competition. Um, Colby Richardson, kind of one of the stories of camp to come from McNeese and be competing for a spot. What, what have you seen out of this guy so far? Uh, he's, he's very smart, uh, he's really athletic, and he uh, plays with a lot of passion. And he comes with it every day and he pushes the group to be better. Was talking to one of the freshmen on the offensive side of the ball, Mason Taylor, tight end. Sure. Uh, this guy moves pretty big for pretty, sure. pretty well for his size, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, say he's just a freshman, he's going to be pretty good once he develops and stuff. But he's getting better every day. What was it about Brian Kelly's pitch or LSU's pitch or whatever it was that that drew you here? Uh, it was just the opportunity that lied here, and uh, it's home for me. So that's really what it was for my decision to come back home. There's a few you, like two guys from Arkansas, same thing, right? The, yes, sir. So you guys, it's kind of like a homecoming for Yes, sir. I mean, why not LSU, so. Um, the game getting close now. Uh, is that excitement starting to kind of build that uh, we're about to play a game? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I mean, we've been waiting all year for this, and it's going to be a good game, so we're looking forward to it. The, the, the whole iron sharpens iron. The wide receivers you go up against in practice every day, you got to feel like, hey, if we can stop these guys, we can stop anybody. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, they're one of the best in the country. You got Kayshawn, Jare, Malik, Jack. I mean, you got guys that can go at any position. So it's good competition all over them. When sideline from an injury during a big transition like this, <laughs> how do you, you know, do your part still? You're not able to be on the field, but do you pick up some, in some areas? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was in my playbook more, helping the guys out off the field, on the field. I mean, I kind of like being a student coach when I got hurt. Uh, I watched more film, I learned more about myself, and I did the things that I needed to do to get back to 100%. And you know, if you want to look for a bright side and everything, the bright side in this is you're in a bigger, you know, you yeah. a different scheme, and now you got a lot more time to learn the playbook and learn the scheme that Matt House installed. How was he able to communicate that, that theme to you? Uh, he just, like, made the key emphasis on what the like focus was for this year and the goals for this year and I've just been sticking to it. Was it a little bit harder not to do physical reps and not to you know actually be out there doing the plays and learning the scheme? Was it a little bit more difficult? Yeah I would say so. I mean of course you want to be out there with your brothers but I mean that's what I was dealt with so I had to deal with it. But I just made the best out of the opportunity. So what do you like about Baton Rouge so far? What do you what's it been like since you uh, it's very different from when I like originally grew up because I I was born here, so I grew up here a little bit before I moved to Shreveport. But it's like very different from when I grew up the first time. Gotcha. So. Batteries in Shreveport much different. Huh? Oh yes, <laughs> much different. Okay. You played the dome at uh, Evangel. Huh? Yes, sir. State the championship. Field's the field's pretty conducive to speed. What are your thoughts about lining up back in that in that stadium? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean. I feel like that's every kid's dream from Louisiana to play in a dome, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready to go.